Hello everyone, this is Adrian from CH Ignitions. Today we have a uh, OS 300 that is modified to be on full gasoline with a 20 to 1 mixture running on the home and garden uh, carburetor. Okay, uh, let's see what else. It's a new intake mate there. Um, smaller lighter so uh, I try to make it the distance here to be the shortest possible so I did not add any material here for two reasons one to not make it big and the second one to be light uh, let's see what else uh, the prop on this it's a czar 21 8 Let's see if the camera is going to focus. For some reason, it goes in and out. Okay, so let's see from this side. So you can see it. Okay, it has a primer bulb that you can bring fuel easy to the carburetor. So this has been primed. One thing, though, about this carburetor, it's the adjustment, okay? This here, I'm going to cut it off, no big deal. But the adjustments, actually, what I'll have to do is to cut a slot for uh, a screwdriver because it comes with a special wrench that, where is it? You know, you'll need to use one of those tools to be able to adjust it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to either supply it with it or take the needles out cut them for a screwdriver so we'll i will see what what and which way i'm gonna go about it but apparently after a couple of good days going over and over several oh actually okay not that don't do this it's not good for you so don't do what i do do as I say. <laughs> so you, as you can see a bunch of all kinds of carburetors, all kind of stuff that I'm trying to figure stuff out. Anyway, so let's uh, start it up. What I, One thing what I like to do when it's cold, because this engine has been, haven't been started since yesterday, I go backwards like four or five turns. That will help the the fuel to get in if you have the ignition on so in my case i have the ignition on so that way i know it's not gonna bite me one thing also that what i do it's on the prop i don't go like this to start it i put the hand like this so when i flip the prop that not gonna come and kick me so let's see yeah the idle is really low I am surprised that it started like this. Let's let it warm up a little bit. One of the things though, what's gonna happen, and I'm sure about this, is idling this slow. It's gonna do a rich condition and it's gonna burp a little bit. But I think it's gonna go over pretty quick. I know yesterday it was pretty good, so I wanted to have a full day shutdown before I try another start. So right now, the way it's set up, to be honest, I think that is a little bit too low. I think the best, uh, the best RPM to be reliable will be around 1400, 1500, between 14, 1600. Yes, it's nice to hear the engine, you know, that does this, pop, 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 pop. But I would prefer, like I said, you know, when it's running this slow, uh, running into the rich condition and may go slow so yes will not be quite reliable what I will say you know 900 a thousand rpms maybe if it will be a, a heavier prop like a Dynatrust or something like that that you know do the flywheel effect then uh, it might start actually not start it, it will run better on the idle Yeah, I have to bring up a little bit the uh, idle because it's too low. 
I let it like that since yesterday when the engine was hot. Okay, so right now probably it's gonna be in 1400 RPM range. No, actually, I didn't bring it up too much, but it's all right. So let's see exactly what it's gonna do. Like I said, you know, it's gonna have that rich condition right now, but watch this. Once it, it gets over that, it's gonna be just fine. And I knew I had a reason why it was that low. Now that it warmed up. Once you, you go over that point, watch it. Let's lean up the low a little bit more. Ouch, that was my hand in the prop. Let's lean it up a little bit more, but let's do two things. Actually, right now you can see what I do. Let's bring up that. All right. Now, I have to wash my hand because it's really close. Reason why I did the, the carburetor that way to be easy to do the throttle. I could have this more turn around. Okay. I could have this turn more around, but then you're going to have problems with the... Uh, it's gonna be harder to do the, the throttle setup, so that's why I had it in this position. This to be close to the fuselage line, okay? So let me lean it up a little bit. I go just little by little, maybe 16 or something like that. Over turn. have to bring the idle up a little bit sorry I don't know what you see but I'm not I'm watching the screw here okay oh yeah okay idle right now is around 13 1400 that's what I would suggest actually and let's give it another try Sounds much better in transition.
I, I cannot adjust the high end holding the throttle and do that so okay now we're gonna lower a little bit the idle uh, idle on RPM not much a little bit more I did it too much. It's still there. Yeah. So like like I said, you know, 1400, 1300, 12. I will like it on 14. Ow. I burned myself. Okay, let's pretend that we do a takeoff. We taxi a bit. Okay, we're getting ready and now we go. We missed it, we need to take off again. Okay, I guess I run my mouth way too much today. Uh, so, this is the OS 300. I like it the way it runs actually it's this carburetor and uh, if you guys wanted to know about it I can tell you it's no secret anyway also a good carburetor it's expensive though will be a Walboro also WT 872B this carburetor also works pretty good so But it doesn't have the the prime on the back, but it, it can be with the external one. So then again, this is uh, OS 300. Also, this setup is going to work for the 240. All right. So, guys, thank you for watching and come back for more.